Hi guys, Tom Quill here, back again checking out another pedal. Today I'm checking out a brand new pedal from my buddies at Keeley. This is the Noble Screamer. Now, a real quick disclosure thing, uh, Keeley asked me if I would like to do a demo of this pedal for the launch. I said yes because I'm a big fan of the brand. They did send me the pedal and I get to keep the pedal but no actual money is exchanged hands and they've not told me what to say, there's no script involved here. Um, one thing I should say is I only ever feature products on my channel that I would use myself or from companies I really like and get on with. And you should always watch as many different reviews and demos of a product like this before you make a buying decision. This though, you should definitely think of as a demo of this product. I might give some thoughts here, but certainly don't think of it as a, a review. It's more of a demo to allow you to hear how the pedal sounds and make some decisions as to whether it's right for you based on not just this, but lots of other videos as well. So with that said, let's check out the Noble Screamer. Now, as the name suggests, this is actually a recreation, a highly accurate recreation, I might add, of the Nobles ODR1 and the original TS-808 Tube Screamer, the one that used the uh, JRC-4558 chips, the original 80s one. I have one down here and I've compared it. Mine is an 83 model, I believe, and it sounds very, very similar indeed. So I might do another video where I compare the two for the uh, Tube Screamer style. The Noble side, I've never played an ODR one, but I'm told this sounds very, very similar to the original and a lot of work has gone into making that happen on the R&D side. So that's the main thing about this pedal is it combines those two circuits in a really accurate way into a single pedal. However, this particular pedal has a trick up its sleeve, which is very cool. You may notice there's a couple of switches on here. Now on the right hand side, the drive switch allows you to switch between the drive circuit of the TS-028 and the ODR1. Now you might know that the ODR1 is kind of a hard clipping circuit with a, a kind of full spectrum frequency EQ curve. So it's got lots of low end, lots of high end. It's not particularly prevalent in any one area. Whereas the Tube Screamer, the TS-808, and the subsequent Tube Screamers like the TS-9, for example, all have this kind of mid uh, hump in the frequency spectrum. So uh, that switch here allows you to switch between the two different drive circuits. But what is new is that you can also independently switch between the tone stacks of those particular drive pedals as well. So you can use the Tube Screamer drive circuit with the ODR1s tone circuit, for example, giving you four different sounds, two of which, to my knowledge, have never ever been done on a pedal before because you can independently combine the drives and the tones in any order that you would like. So that's very cool indeed. Another innovation of this pedal is that it's actually switchable via this switch between true bypass and buffered bypass mode. Now it ships in buffered bypass. If you want to put it into true bypass, you hold the button down and you will see that that LED just flicked twice, so we're now in true bypass. Hold it down again, and it will switch back to buffered bypass because you saw three uh, little flicks of the LED there. That's a very cool feature, depending on what you need. I've got it in buffered bypass mode, so you can tailor it very easily to your own requirements. It's all built in the USA. It's an aluminium chassis, which is a first for uh, Keeley as well, which is nice. We've got these great looking green knobs that match the Nobles and the Tube Screamer, both obviously green looking pedals in their design. And the design itself is really nice with a non-latching foot switch, really good quality knobs on here. They've got a nice sort of stiffness to them. And then we've got the top mounted jacks, which all pedals these days should really have. And the center negative nine volt DC input, as I say, all built in the US as well. So all high quality components. Now, I'm gonna play it for you in a second and we'll go through all the different tonal options. Just in terms of the signal path, I'm using my Ibanez TQM1, which has got relatively high output pickups, just so you know. That's running into the pedal, which is then going straight into the uh, Laney Cub, so that's a um, very low wattage head over there, so it's not quite clean, it's just on the edge of breakup. That's going into a Zilla 2x12 cab, which is mic'd up with a Royal 121 and then a 1057, and that's going into my audio interface into Logic, and there is a stereo reverb and delay on there as well, just to add some niceties because I like that. Okay, so clean tone on the bridge pickup, just on the edge of breakup. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, let's start in full tube screamer mode. So both switches are down, so we're in the TS mode on both. Gain is set low. You can see where the tone and the level set. <laughs> We'll switch both over to the OD, so that would be the Nobles ODR1. Much thicker sound without that kind of mid hump, so you can hear it's a much more kind of full spectrum kind of sound. And again, I don't have an ODR1 to compare to, but I'm led to believe that it's incredibly accurate to that original signal path or circuit. So let's play a little bit with the switches so we can hear the other two settings as well, and then I'll kind of crank the gain and play with the other controls as well. So we'll stay in the OD mode. <laughs> and switch the tone control down to the tube screamer. Back to OD. Back to Tube Screamer. So you can really hear the effect that's having in terms of that mid hump coming back and you're losing some of the low end in particular. Okay, so let's switch this down to Tube Screamer and we'll do the opposite. So we'll switch the tone stack over to the OD while we're in Tube Screamer drive mode. <laughs> Over to OD. Again, you can hear how much thicker it gets on the OD side. Okay, so let's go down to the tube screamer mode and I'm going to show you the amount of gain available on the pedal. It feels wonderful to play, by the way. Okay, so gain halfway up now. <laughs> Okay, over to the OD mode, keep the tone stack the same.
So let's crank the gain. I'm gonna bring the level down a little bit. So we'll start in full on tube screamer mode, TS-808. Okay, let's go to the OD mode. fantastic sound so let's do some combinations just going to bring the tone control up a little bit we'll uh, use the OD with the TS uh, tone stack here <laughs> Okay, let's do the opposite. So a ton of really, really great tones out of this. And of course, you can use it to push the front end of the amp as well if you want to. So if I bring down the drive, you've got both the OD and the TS style boosts to kick the front end of your amplifier. So at the moment, when I play hard, we get in kind of just some crunch straight through the amp. If I crank the level, this is on the tube screamer mode. Okay, Odin. <laughs> Again, without the pedal in boost mode. <laughs> Switch that down, bring up to the OD to get kind of some of the more unique settings. Let's really crank the level, a little bit more drive, back off the tone. Super dynamic. So there you go guys, some fantastic tones from the Noble Screamer, available now from Keeley. 
If you click the link in the description below, that will take you across to Keeley's website where you can check out this pedal and find all the different dealers near you. As always, guys, make sure you check out lots and lots of demos. Again, this is supposed to be a demo. Check out lots of video demos and reviews to make sure this pedal is for you. But I am genuinely impressed by it. I think it sounds fantastic. I could totally imagine myself taking this and the delay pedal and having access to all the drive sounds that I would need, basically, um, with a tube amp or even a modeler as well. So, fantastic device. Hope you enjoyed the demo, guys. If you did, make sure you click the like and subscribe button below. And of course, hit the bell notification icon to make sure you never miss any more of my videos. If you want to support me in what I do on this channel and just generally in my guitar playing, you can click the links in the description below that will take you across to my lesson material. And there you will find lessons on improvisation, theory, technique, everything that you need to be a great modern guitar player. All right, guys, thanks for watching. My name's Tom Quayle, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.